Okay, in the next video, I'm going to talk about scouting really briefly. Uh, when we started with scouting, when we did our draft, this was set to 100% accurate. So I'm going to go ahead and fold the run, run the full scout there. We come out here and we take a look um, at the teams here and all of the scouting ratings. If you go to anybody, it's going to show you it's 100%. So whatever the actual ratings are, those are the real ratings. Um, for doing the draft, especially an initial kickoff draft, that's really the only way to go you haven't much had much chance to mess with scouting so we leave that on that way but once we get into actually playing we want to put some real scouting into it now there's all these different things i find that very low doesn't make sense i don't want to see babe ruth that it says he's got a two home runner power that just doesn't make any sense it, it i think that most people have a good idea how most guys are but there's there's a level of scouting so either high or very high since most of our users or most of our owners are new i'm going to put it on very high to keep it easy all right and that's so that's what our setting is within the game again this is just a test one i have here so i'm not messing with the actual game right now so i'm going to go ahead and choose you mostly have to be on an actual team and an actual owner for this to affect it. All right, so here I am and I'm looking and then this is showing my scouting accuracy of my player. And now you see I've got a range here. I'm not absolutely, I'm 100% on nobody. Very high is the best. And then now I've got two options. I've got the OSA ratings, which is this is what the general everybody in the public knows about a player. And then this will go. It makes more sense that a player that's been around in the league for 10 years, the general public has a much better idea than they do about a brand new player. So that's why these ratings will go up and down on the on the higher the guy. Uh, you will notice the less known about the player, the more discrepancy there is between those two. So again, I always can choose between the OSA, which here everybody is average, and my scouting director, which is high. Um, or in these is very high. So going down to this guy, he's relatively new, and so neither that or him. But my scouting director has a slightly higher potential on him. It looks that he's he thinks he's going to be a 42. The general consensus is 37. So this is important when you get into stuff in the drafts. That's enough of a potential where the when a guy's there, while he's fully developed, he probably means nothing here. He's never going to be much, but at least he's semi-worth considering. So that's kind of, you see the differences with that. All right, so how do you manage scouting within your team? So the first couple of things is you have your scouting director, which you have here. All of us have been given a scouting director, and all of us have been giving a scouting director with relatively high ratings, um, but they will have a contract they can run out, and at some point, if you need to hire a new scout you would go through here and hire the scout and these are the different ratings uh right now all of our scouts are better than any of these guys here um i would expect you know excellent outstanding excellent if you go through and look at all the different scouts well, i can't see your scout because i'm not lying into that team so but if you go and you look at your scout most of you guys should be in this level of being very good i basically took this 11 best scouts and put them on the human teams. So these are the scouting ratings. I can set scouting priorities here. Minor league, major league, amateur, international. Do I want reports every time? Um, we can set this budget, although you can only do this in the preseason. We're past that point, but next year you can set a budget on how much you want to do. Obviously, the more you spend, the better it will be. You can put some specific priorities. Find me a uh, current uh, future superstar any potential or any position is fine give me a current average starting pitcher this will just the, your scout will actively look for players in those specific areas um specifically when it's coming to your own players you always want to have a good understanding of how good your own guys are if i'm seeing here that he's got an average scouting and i'm going to go ahead and right click and request scouting report and that's going to give me a better look at him so that i have a better idea of what kind of a player he is longer he plays on my team that scouting rating will go up as well so then the other thing we'll do with scoutings is we're looking at free agents and it's like all right well rondell white's out there the average he's 44 55 that's an average scouting maybe he's better than that i don't know so i'm going to request a scouting report on him and then he'll come back over the next couple of days and let me know how how well how good he is there's a little bit my hound scout right now thinks he's a little bit better than the average 
overall public knowledge is of him. Um, so after the game goes a couple of days, that scouting report will come back better. I can always change what I'm looking at. Am I looking at the OSA scout or at the scouting director? Again, all of us have really good scouting directors. You find yourself in a different game where your scout's not so good. Maybe you rely on the OSA scouting more, but since we're here and most of our scouts are pretty good, at least for now, you usually probably want to have a better idea of what they think. Um, you're evaluating a trade. You're looking at a guy on a waiver wire. Right? Anything at all, you want an idea of how good is this guy and whether or not how much I trust the scouting report that I'm getting on him compared to thing. Um, later, when we get into the draft, into the uh, rookie draft next year, we have anybody in there yet? Yeah, we have a couple players in there. So there's here's some guys I'm looking at. Carlos Delgado next year. He's going to be on a rookie draft. Wow, that's pretty impressive. 20 right now, 68 overall. My head scout doesn't think he's so much, right? And my head scout has a higher grade on him than the than this guy does. So this is where it really comes into play when you start getting into people that are not known as well. But as I'm going in next year on the draft, I want to request scouting reports. I want to start looking for guys that I want to scout. So scouting is something that goes all over the game because we've got it on very high. It's not going to hurt that much, but it's definitely something to spend some time on if you want to get a better look at how good your players are. All right.